nobody is ever prepared to say goodbye to their devoted pets. Most people consider their dogs to be members of their family, so losing one is comparable to losing a cherished relative. But we have to accept the passing of time, and the best thing any of us can do for ourselves and our dogs is to make the best preparations for the end. The first thing to know is that your dog will try to let you know when it's time by exhibiting a few crucial symptoms and behaviors, and in this video, I will discuss some of those possible signs to look out for. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, subscribe and hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. Now let's get right into it. Number one, your dog is restless. Some dogs might get highly anxious and restless as they draw closer to passing away. They can be unable to sit still or may pace back and forth. This could be the result of discomfort or physical pain. It may occasionally be brought on by changes in their own brain. Some dogs may experience specific cognitive abnormalities as they age, much like people with Alzheimer's. The name of this condition in dogs is canine cognitive dysfunction. Number two, loss of interest. A dog might start to get disinterested in their environment as they near the end of life. This is especially true for dogs who are affected with a chronic long-term sickness. They might stop jumping up when they welcome us at the door and their beloved toys will start to collect dust. In fact, this is frequently one of the first and saddest indications that the quality of life for your dog is starting to decline. Unfortunately though, this is a typical sign of your dog's body slowing down. Number three, odd breathing. It's possible for a dog's normal body functions to start to malfunction when they're extremely close to passing away. They might start to breathe strangely as a result. Your dog may breathe very slowly or extremely quickly. It could start out normal for a while before becoming labored and then going back to normal. They could also need to exert a lot of effort to draw and expel air. Number four, seeking comfort. When their lives are nearing the end, dogs could start to cling more. Most likely they won't feel well and some dogs may seek solace from their humans. Having said that, this is unusual. When it comes to the end of their lives, dogs still cling to many of their natural instincts, so they may frequently attempt to conceal their illness even from their favorite humans. Lethargy though can prevent a dog from exerting itself enough to look for solace. Some dogs may hide as death nears instead of seeking comfort. They won't often want to be around others when they die and may seek their own comfort in silence. Number five, lethargy or disinterest. Everyone, including dogs, start to slow down as they get older. We simply can't bring ourselves to run that marathon as we would have 10 years ago because our bodies hurt or our energy levels are lower than they used to be. Older dogs will undoubtedly be less active, but if you find that your dog spends most of their time resting rather than moving around, there is a potential that they may be close to passing. Number six, emotional detachment. Dogs' responses to death vary. Your dog may start seeking out more time alone or start taking naps in less busy places of your house. While pet parents may find this deeply upsetting, keep in mind that this is a fully typical method for some animals to deal with their end of life. Number seven, balance issues. If you notice that your dog, who is usually agile and able to move about without difficulty, is starting to stumble more or is finding it harder to move around, it's possible that they're losing their coordination. Balance problems may be a symptom that a dog is approaching death due to an underlying illness or other impairment. This symptom may also be a sign of an ear infection or another ailment that affects balance. In the end, we owe it to our dogs who have brought us so much joy for so many years to understand more about the natural death process. By providing appropriate end of life care, love and support during such a trying time, we can learn how to best assist our dogs in their transition. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.